Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Welcome to my video on using multiple user forms simultaneously in Excel VBA. I'm starting from this worksheet that contains fictitious data and I have this orange rectangle already on here. And using the assign macro selection from right click, I've assigned this sheet1.openform subroutine to it. So if we go to Alt F11, the visual basic editor, you can see that subroutine here, open form, is empty. This is what the orange rectangle connects to. So first I'm going to insert a new user form. So the top here, insert user form, and over here on the left for name, I'm just going to change this to form1. I'm going to do the same thing for the caption caption will be changed to form one except I'll leave a space there and on this form I'm just going to put one command button and one text box so text box one and command button one I want the user to be able to click that orange rectangle and open this user form so for that sub open form here I'm going to enter one line of code form one dot show just the one line of code so now if I go back to the workbook click on this orange rectangle the new user form that I created comes up and of course the text box is empty and the command button there's no code behind it so it doesn't do anything but it does display going back to the visual basic editor I'm now going to add a second user form insert user form and this one is going to be named form2 and then the caption I'm going to change to form, form space 2 and here I'm going to add a text box and a command button so from the toolbox here I'm just going to drag those onto the form just as I did with form1 so what I want to happen here is when a user opens up form one and they click this command button, I want form two to open and it open in such a way that the user can make changes on both user forms simultaneously. So by default, a user would not be able to do this. So we have to change a property in each of these user forms so that both can display at the same time and the user can interact with both of them at the same time. So if we click on Form 2 and move to the properties here on the left, you can see there's a property Show Modal. And there are two options, True or False. By default, it's set to True. I'm going to change it to False. And then for Form 1, I'm going to do the same thing. Show Modal set to false. Next I want to put code behind the command button on form 1 that will open form 2. So I'll move to form 1, double click on command button and there'll just be one line of code here and that's going to be form 2.show. So if I move back to the worksheet, open form 1, I can interact with this form, so I could type a value in the text box, for example. And when I click Command button 1, Form 2 opens. And again, I can add values to that and still add values to the first form. So both Form 1 and Form 2 can be edited by the user. So next, I'm going to place code behind the Command button on Form 2 it'll copy a value entered in this text box over to the text box on to form 1. So moving back to the Visual Basic Editor, going to form 2, I'm going to double click on the command button, and here in this command button click subroutine, I'm just going to use this code, form one dot text box one equals form 2 dot text box one. So moving back 
to the worksheet, open up form one, then form two, say I type a value into this text box, type 58, click command button one, and it copies that value over to the text box in form one. It's worth noting here that in a variety of situations, we're having two user forms at the same time might seem useful. Usually a multi-page control put on one user form could take care of whatever those requirements were. And that is certainly the case in this instance where I'm simply transferring a value from one text box to another. If you found this video on working with multiple user forms simultaneously to be helpful, as always, if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to contact me. I'll be happy to assist you.